गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल विज्ञान विहान which was formerly Sima Gyan Knowledge Share. We upload knowledge sharing videos on various topics. This is our series for General Aptitude Part A of UGC CSIR NET. In this episode, we will solve the problems of Part A for Mathematical Sciences and Life Sciences. The questions are from Booklet Series A. Problem number 6. Starting from a point capital A, you fly 1 mile south then one mile east, then one mile north, which brings you back at point A. Point A is not the North Pole. Which of the following must be true? Option 1. You are in the Northern Hemisphere. Option 2. You are in the Eastern Hemisphere. Option 3. You are in the Western Hemisphere. Option 4. You are in the Southern Hemisphere. Friends, the next problem is problem number 6. In the given problem, you start flying from a specific point A, then fly 1 mile south in first step, then fly 1 mile east. In a diagram, you can show it like this. 1 mile east in second step, in third step, 1 mile north, then it returns. 1 mile north in third step. According to the given problem, you reach at the same point A in these three steps. So, there may be one chance that you are at North Pole. Then, the situation may be like this. From the North Pole, a point A is at North Pole. Then, when flying towards north one mile, you reach another point B in first step. In second step, fly one mile east. Then you reach another point C. If in third step, you fly one mile towards north, you reach at the same point A, which is North Pole. But according to the given problem, Point A is not North Pole. So, this solution is impossible for this problem. Then, let's see the given options in this problem. First, you are in Northern Hemisphere. Second, you are in Eastern Hemisphere. Third, Western Hemisphere. Fourth, Southern Hemisphere. Now, Let's assume in southern hemisphere you are in some nearby area of southern pole. If a circle which has its circumference 1 mile and your initial position A is 1 mile north from some arbitrary point of this circle, if you start your journey from A, in first step, fly towards south, one mile, you reach at the point B. In second step, if you fly from B, one mile towards east, then the complete circle of one mile will be completed one time. Again, you reach at point B. In third step, when you start flying from B and fly towards north, you reach at point A again. Same condition will be for other circles which has their circumference like 1 by 2 mile, 1 by 3 mile, like this 1 by n mile when n is some integer. So, the correct answer of this problem would be you are in southern region. The correct option is option number 4. Seventh problem. A 3 meter long car goes past a 4 meter long truck at rest on the road. The speed of the car is 7 meter per second. The time taken to go past is 
ऑप्शन वन फोर बाई सेवन सेकेंड ऑप्शन टू वन सेकेंड ऑप्शन थ्री सेवन बाई फोर सेकेंड ऑप्शन फोर टेन बाई सेवन सेकेंड द प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम अ कार इज गोइंग पास्ट अ फोर मीटर लॉन्ग ट्रक द लेंथ ऑफ द कार इज थ्री मीटर देन वी वुड हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रॉस द ट्रक द टोटल डिस्टेंस विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कवर बाय द कार इज द लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रक विच इज फोर मीटर प्लस लेंथ ऑफ द कार विच इज थ्री मीटर सो द टोटल डिस्टेंस इज सेवन मीटर द स्पीड ऑफ द कार इज गिवन एज सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड द डिस्टेंस इफ डिनोटेड बाय एक्स द टाइम टू क्रॉस द ट्रक इज डिस्टेंस अपॉन स्पीड डिस्टेंस हियर इज सेवन मीटर डिवाइड बाय सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो वन सेकेंड so the correct answer of this problem is option number 2 1 second eighth problem jar w contains 40 white marbles and jar b contains 40 black marbles 10 black marbles from b are transferred to w and mixed thoroughly now 10 randomly selected marbles from w are put back in jar b to make 40 marbles in each jar the number of black marbles in w there are four options option 1 would be equal to the number of white marbles in b option 2 would be more than the number of white marbles in b option 3 would be less than the number of white marbles in b option 4 can not be determined from the information given problem number 8 in this problem initially there are 40 white marbles in jar w and 40 black marbles in jar b in first step take 10 marbles out of these 40 black marbles and then shift them to jar w in mid stage there would be 40 white marbles plus 10 marbles which are black in jar w and in jar b there would be only 30 marbles which are black then all those marbles in jar w are mixed up thoroughly then randomly collect 10 marbles out of those 50 marbles and shift them to the jar b After mid stage collect 10 marbles out of those 50 marbles and shift them to the jar B in this condition we would have to use the basic principle of probability so right here these are 40 plus 10 40 are white and 10 are black marbles there is probability to collect the black marble 1 by 5 and to collect white marble is 4 by 5 because the ratio of black marbles 10 divided by total marbles is 10 plus 40 and for white marbles this is 40 then divide by total number which is 40 plus 10 so if we pick any 10 marbles randomly from the chart w then there would be 4 by 5 multiply with 10 of white marbles here it is 8 which are white marbles and for black marbles it is 1 by 5 multiply with 10 this is 2 black marbles when this operation is applied now in jar w there would be 40 minus 8 marbles so 32 white marbles and 10 black minus 2 marbles so 8 black marbles and in jar b there would be other situation where 30 plus 2 that mean 32 black marbles because the increment in black marbles is here 
and increment in white marbles is 8 so there were no white marble so now there are 8 white marbles now we can compare the situations there are 4 options so the question is asking the number of black marbles in W the number of black marbles in W here it is 8 then compare with the situations would be equal to number of white in B the number of white it is also 8 in B so the correct answer is option 1 the number of black marbles in jar W would be equal to the number of white marbles in jar B all the other options are meaningless here because in the second option it is would be more than number of white in B no chance because there are two equality conditions in white and black jar W and B less than number of white in B this is also meaningless in third condition cannot be determined from the information it is also an absurd statement so the correct answer is option 1 the PDF of those problems and, and the June 2015 paper can be downloaded from our Google Drive link is given in the description box. Ninth problem. Consider three parallel strips of 10 meter width running around the earth parallel to the equator capital A1 at the equator A2 at the Tropic of Cancer A3 at the arctic circle the order of areas of the strips is we would have to select the correct answer from given four options problem number nine in this problem there are three parallel strips of 10 meter width running around the earth which are a1 is at equator equator position is middle of the earth so it has maximum circumference the other one is tropic of cancer the tropic of cancer is 23 and half degree north so it has lesser circumference a3 is at arctic circle the arctic circle situated here at 66 and half degree south so the least circumference is at arctic circle their area can be calculated by 2 pi r multiply with width d all have same width d so a is proportional to r the circle at equator that is a1 has maximum radius so the area a1 is at maximum level there are two options 3 and 4 having area a1 at maximum a2 is at tropic of cancer so that is lesser area than the a1 so so a1 is maximum greater than a2 the least area would be of arctic circle so a3 is the least area so the correct answer of this problem the correct answer of this problem would be option 4 a1 is greater than a2 is greater than a3 problem 10 there are some codes and their conclusions such as small a capital N implies to capital S small e capital F implies to capital I small g capital H implies to capital M then small n capital S implies to we would have to select the correct answer from the given four options option 1 capital T option 2 capital A option 3 capital L option 4 capital K the last but not least here is the blockbuster problem of this episode the problem number 10 
if you try this problem many times using the order of alphabets like this 1 for a 7 for g 20 for t 26 for g you would never get the answer of this problem if you remember those order numbers that is meaningless so remove it from your mind there is no need of the knowledge of order number of alphabetical letters here it is required to have a knowledge of chemical symbols of elements if you put here a mirror before the codings given here like an ef gh put a mirror here and you would get like this na fe hg these are chemical symbols of some elements here it is sodium second it is iron third it is mercury the last which is question code like n s the mirror image would be like this s and n that is chemical symbol of tin the meaning of those codes are the first letters of those elements s i m the answer of this problem would be the first letter of tin which is capital t so the correct answer of this problem would be option 1 t friends keep practicing if you have any doubts about the solutions please comment in the comment box keep watching our videos thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share it with your friends please subscribe this channel and tap on the bell icon so that you can get notification thank you